Hello everyone and welcome back to Charlie Talks Football. So now as you know, um, Newcastle's first final in a while is coming up. Now this is going to be um, one of the most important games of the club's new era under the owners. Now we're just going to talk a bit about what we think um, how we think Newcastle are going to line up and just a little bit about the tickets. So let's get into it. So yeah, the Carabao Cup final is coming up. Um, we're very much looking forward to it. Can Newcastle beat Manchester United? Now in the last game, Newcastle got beat off Liverpool 2-0 and Nick Pope got sent off. So that means that... Um, Carriers will have to play because Dubrovka is cup tied because he's already played in the Carabao Cup with Manchester United. So yeah, um, I've seen a lot of react Man United fans reacting and they're they're acting a bit too overconfident. And I've seen a lot of Newcastle fans as well sort of saying we've got no chance now, but. Um, I think people are forgetting, you know, although Carriers did make their mistakes in the Champions League final, which basically cost Liverpool the game, in his last few matches he played for Liverpool, um, in all of them he has kept clean sheets. So I don't think this is as bad as some people think now. I do feel bad for Nick Pope yeah. um, because, you know, he... he it, it's the worst time, the timing of it is terrible really because, you know, of all the times this could happen, it happens um, just before the final. So I am gutted for him, but let's hope um, Carrius can do a good job. Now, it'll be interesting to see whether he starts Isaac or Wilson up front. Now, who do you think he'll start up front? I think he'll start with Wilson if he's fully recovered. He came on for um, a part of the game against Liverpool and he was running about. He's, he's very obviously, um, he puts a lot of pressure on defenders. So I think he, he will start. Yeah, I can understand if he goes with Isaac as well because he's very, very good. And he played actually well with Maxi when we went down to 10 men. It was a good partnership um, when Howe changed it. But I do think, you know, he's got history with Wilson at Bournemouth. Um, and but that we, we need it doesn't matter with history to know, have someone who can you it's know who's the best player for the team but, on that day. But I think I think you'll go with Wilson if he's fully fit because he's played the majority of the games this season. I get what you mean, um, and I think that's whether that's the right thing to do. I'm not going to you know I'm not to going be to honest. I don't but, think um, I haven't really been impressed with Wilson recently. Yeah, and I think just to. Get at the Man United defence. Of course, we've also got St. Maximum who can do that. But I think we just need him because in a team that's been struggling to score goals, I think he will add that to the team. So I think if Isaac is fit, you've got to play him. Because if you don't play him, I think you will will regret it. Because mm. um, I just think... Isaac, obviously, for me, has more of his game than Wilson. Yeah. Although Wilson has played more games this season, I just think you have to start Isaac. And I think it is, of course, good to have Wilson on the bench. Now, for me, the, the, most, the most dangerous Man United player who we've got to look out for is Marcus Rashford. Definitely. He's, he's on fire at the minute, isn't you he? Know, brilliant at the minute. And not just him, um, Casemiro, of course, he is someone to be scared of. But um, he's been fantastic, you know. Luckily, Newcastle have got one of the best defences in the league and really concede. But Rashford's been brilliant, yeah. hasn't he? So I'm sure Eddie Howe will be um, thinking of a plan on how to stop him. But as you know, Manchester United have been in much better mm. form than we have. Um, they In their last game, they beat Leicester 3-0. Um, so, yeah. I think that my concern is, is that I think the back four picks itself. Obviously, you'll have Byrne at left back. I think obviously Botman and Shaw have, have formed a great partnership in, in centre half. And Trippier, Mr. Dependable at right back. Yes, he made a couple of errors against Liverpool, but in the main, he's an outstanding player. He's a leader, he's experienced, set piece deliveries are fantastic. Trippier is so important to us. But my slight concern is Dan Burns done brilliant at left back for us. But 
I think Bournemouth, when we played them, they tried to expose Dan Byrne because of his lack of... He's a, he's, he's a big guy, he's really tall, so when he turns with the ball sometimes, he's slightly slower. And when also that... Um, if he's got his back turn and back run at the goal, I think you know they'll look to get Rashford if they play him on the right or whoever's on the right in behind him. Balls in between the centre half and the full back burn, and that that could create problems. So I'm sure how how's aware of that. Yeah, he's I, working on I it. definitely agree with you on that. I think Man United will be looking to looking at Dan Burn as a weakness because although he's been very good this season, of course he's not a left back, but. He's done so well there this season. So I think they will look to get Rashford yeah. sort of down the down the line and sort of try and ex get as many players as possible to exploit that area because I think they will see that as a weakness. Now, yeah. I think the positive thing though about Dan Byrne is, is he's height anything in the box, he's winning in the air. And any long balls, he, he's dominant and he's done really well. So I'm not having a go at him, I'm just saying that's a potential... Yeah area that Man United will look to um, exploit. Yeah, so what's what's your opinion? Do you think we'll win it or not? I hope so. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say yes. I think I know Man United's in form and obviously Carrius is in goal. But, but sometimes, Carrius is a good goal. Yeah, I know and sometimes these things happen and, and, you know, adversity and you get someone coming in who you wouldn't have expected to play and that they might, he might Maybe have a really good game. Maybe he could be our second choice goal. Could Maybe he. He, might, he might start as our goalkeeper, yeah. as crazy as that sounds. Maybe he might become our first choice goalkeeper. <laughs> I don't know, but I think Pope's we... first choice has yeah, been outstanding. Sure. But let's get behind Carrius and hopefully he can do a really good job. Hopefully he doesn't have much to do, so he doesn't have to... Have nah, to make I think, think he will, he will do with, um... But I wanted to ask you about the midfield, Charlie. So we're not sure if Willock will be back because he's got a hamstring injury. It's rumoured he might be back, but I don't know if he's training yet. So with hamstring injuries, you've got to be really cautious. So if he does come back, will he be on the bench? So that leaves a space in midfield. We know Bruno's coming back in. So I think... He'll be on the bench. Yeah. Miggy will be on the right, most definitely. Yeah, and I think 100%. we'll have Longstaff in the middle, Bruno and Joe Linton. Yeah. But who goes on that left? Obviously, Gordon can't play um... because he's injured. But I think, will he go with... Maxi, who's played really well, but the concern with Maxi is when we haven't got the ball, can he nah, keep he his discipline? Doing it last time, he though. was, yes, he was. I think um, it's obvious to start Maxi. Yeah. I think to not start him would be a missed opportunity because you've seen how many problems he was causing at Liverpool. He was unlucky not to score. I think it's pretty obvious to start him against Man United. I suppose you could keep him on the bench and he would be good for someone to bring on. Mm. But for me, you've got to have him from the start. And I sort of think, um, do, do you think that whoever scores first will um, go on to win the game? Because... It's a possibility, um, but I do think that if Willock was fully fit, he would start ahead of Maxi. And I know Maxi's really positive in going forward, but the team that's been successful this season has been with Willock playing um, in that position. So whether he's back in time, I don't know. But he'd probably go with Maxi. Yeah, Willock will be on the Maxi bench because I think fit. it would be yeah. um, silly to start a, a player who's mm. potentially still injured. But so. let us know what you think. Do you think Wilson or Isaac will start up front? Do you think Willock Isaac. will be back or, or Maxi? Just let us know in the comments below because it's, it's, really, it's all about opinions, isn't it? We don't know. We can only just um, guess what's going to yeah. happen. But... Really looking forward to it. Um, should be a fantastic occasion. More flags has got a, a display on and the atmosphere outside the stadium and inside yeah, is going to be Make phenomenal. sure to um, subscribe to the channel for that Wembley video and the Overnight Stay video, which will be coming in a few days' time, plus us going to Trafalgar Square as well. Hopefully, I'm sure you guys will enjoy that video. Um, so, yeah, guys... Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. And if you um, make sure you turn the notification bell on so you are notified in time for that Wembley video. There will be a video up on the channel tomorrow as well. Um, so, yeah, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed that video and I'll see you guys for the next video tomorrow. See you in the next Bye. one.